In Canada right now, we are discussing a new bill that is moving through Parliament called Bill C-111. Now, this bill is highly opposed by YouTube, and YouTube is putting out information against it, saying that Canadians should stand against it, this is about freedom of speech, and all kinds of manners of worrying about alleged censorship. At the same time, the right is essentially giving the same message. That it will be the government telling us what we're allowed to see, what we're allowed to view, etc. Now, with this kind of message going around, you would probably concern me, being someone who has been on YouTube for such a long time. Probably longer than half of the people have been the company's CEO. So it became necessary to understand what this is and why YouTube is so vehemently against it. Now, things that do restrict freedom of speech do affect YouTube, and it could affect all of us as well. The less people are allowed to put on YouTube, the less potential money YouTube is going to make. So I looked at it. After having read the bill myself, I've been able to make the certain, the, the following determinations. It essentially says YouTube has to give priority to Canadian content to Canadian users of the service. It also seeks to elevate black indigenous voices as well as uh, equality for French and other indigenous languages. So, and that's really all I could find. In the bill, that's all it's really saying is to elevate marginalized voices and the French who are not marginalized. So I began to think that maybe this may be a little bit more complicated, so I searched many other right-wing sources and what it is that they claim is in the bill. And there's nothing to that effect. There is nothing that stops you from being able to see anything you want. The only thing this would actually affect is for you page algorithms. If you liked this, then you'll probably like this completely unrelated commercial product, which is how YouTube works already. It would just be prioritizing Canadian content. Now, this, in the end, could upset some people. If they do want to see a particular kind of content and it's not Canadian, and this algorithm is already going, is going to push Canadian content on them, which is not the content that they want, then you could see why they would be upset. The problem is YouTube already does this. YouTube's algorithm already basically buries what you want to see anyway. The only thing you get are politically approved talking heads, let's play videos, and meme videos. That's basically it. If it's not pre-approved political entities like CNN, MSNBC, Fox, etc., you're not going to see it. I mean, how many of us in our own community know that our videos are being suppressed? Algorithms are deliberately making sure our videos don't get seen, even though they match the content that other people have clicked on similar to. How many of our videos don't even show up in not even just the recommended for you, but in the news feed when you subscribe to that channel that you already wanted, that you already told YouTube that you wanted to watch those videos anyway? Essentially, this bill would codify a kind of problem that we already have, except that it would have the benefit of elevating marginalized voices and prioritizing Canadian content to the Canadian public. Now, this is something that's already done in Canada anyway. There are regulations that say at least 30% of any television channel's content must be Canadian. If it's a Canadian channel, it has to play at least 30% of Canadian content. This would be essentially a digital extension of that same policy. So, to put it another way, I personally, in my own 
viewing habits don't actually care whether the person or the, the source of the video is something that came from Canada or the US. That's really not what's important to me. What's important to me is the message in the video, which is the reason why I effing clicked on it to begin with. So, in a manner of speaking, you could see this as interfering with algorithms to find what it is that you want. But in essence, unless you're looking for something that's surface level bland garbage, you're already not getting it anyway. So I personally do not see this bill as essentially changing anything. Now we do understand some of the concerns that the far right would have because much of their content is censored because it's hate speech, conspiracy theory nonsense, or just straight up racist idiocy. And this censorship is already there. This is not new. This is not something that the that Bill C-11 is going to bring into power or bring into effect. I mean, it's essentially already there. In from their interests, from the right, the far right interests, essentially nothing would change. Their stuff would be just as suppressed as it is now. Nothing would change. And in those of us on the, on the far left, essentially nothing would really change. Those voices that you're not allowed to hear because they're too radical or because they just simply disagree with the mainstream narrative will remain in the same place that they always have been. It's not going to change anything. So in my personal opinion, this bill is meaningless. It doesn't really mean anything because it's not going to change anything for the average, regular, everyday Canadian user of YouTube. We're just going to get more Canadian voices, which users may or may not even want. So in terms of the importance of getting indigenous voices, okay, yeah, well, you'll, you'll get more indigenous voices and that's always important. But keep in mind what indigenous voices you're going to get. You're going to get ones that are pro with the system, probably pro-military probably ones that are not particularly criticizing the system that exists, or ones that ally to one of the major political parties, not one that's, that question the system as a whole. Because the Canadian government's first priority is to maintain the Canadian government and its interests as representatives of the bourgeoisie. So really, in terms of elevating indigenous voices, this is probably not going to do anything. If you've got surface level content, like here's this recipe or here's this like res joke video, yeah, that's gonna get up there. But anything that fundamentally questions the system, it's not gonna get up there anyway. So from the perspective of radical leftists, nothing's gonna change for us. It won't make a difference. And you can oppose the bill if you want to. Uh, me personally, I'm probably just going to ignore it from here on out. Because it inherently isn't going to make a difference. And we must also understand that the opposition is always going to claim that this is something or other to try to stop it. Because the people that they are politically opposed to are the ones proposing it. We should not forget that despite their cries of censorship and big government getting involved in people's lives, etc., and they were the ones supporting Stephen Harper in bill, I believe it was C-51, that would essentially allow the government to spy on Canadians without a warrant through digital means. But they were perfectly okay with that. But to point out the hypocrisy of the right is, that's day old bread. So really, you may have to figure out what this bill means to you. Because in my analysis, for those of us on the far left, it's not going to change anything. The system will continue on as it has. It will continue to promote establishment voices and politically approved speech 
in favor of the system squashing dissent, which is what it already does now. They're just going to do it with more French voices and do it with more indigenous voices. Although once again, the primary contradiction here is the fact that it is a bourgeois society with a bourgeois government controlled by the bourgeoisie. And that is the important point to keep in mind when looking at Bill C-11. Thank you for watching. If you like this program, then please head over to my Patreon page and set up a monthly donation. It's your donations that keep this program running. Also, if you would like, please rate, comment, subscribe, and share in various social media.